Welcome to Mac Connections, the podcast. Keeping connected and looking after yourselves is so important during these changing times. We trust the following conversation will provide some helpful guidance. If you have any concerns, please get in contact with staff in the Year 12 team. We want to be able to provide all the support we can. Our patron, St Mary of the Cross MacKillop, wrote in 1875, May God bless and keep you and give you courage. We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast is recorded. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present, and to the Aboriginal elders emerging. Episode 20, A Year 12 Day. Here is your host, Director of Wellbeing, Mr. Andrew Exton. Welcome to another episode of the Mac Connection podcast. And today we've got one of our Year 12 parents, Jason, who's come on board to have a chat to us. Jason, thanks for coming on board. The first thing I wanted to ask you was, as a parent of a student going through Year 12, what have you noticed about how they've coped with this period and what, have, and what challenges have you noticed with regards to their learning and the completion of their, of their studies? I think I think the time has um, uh, allowed our son to, um, you know, really really think about his studies and and to gain um, the support of people around him. So obviously um, the staff at McKellip and, and and just his network at home and his friendship groups and so on. So I suppose we've um, what I've noticed uh, is that. And what I've been impressed with, I have to say, is how he's managed himself throughout this process. You know, he's um, he's come through uh, as a resilient um, learner um, and a, a resilient um, kid, uh, young man. He's 18. He's just turned 18. Uh, so, you know, I've been really impressed with how he's been able to manage himself, um, to be organised, to meet deadlines, uh, expectations, etc. And obviously, they've been quite different over term two, term three. Um, you know, the, the other um, the things that I, I think that have been good for, for him and for us as a family is that, you know, we've been able to connect, probably slow down a bit. You know, sometimes the pace of life gets a bit too ridiculous. And um, so, you know, we've had a, an opportunity to um, pause a bit and, and just to reconnect as a family. And as hard as that is, sometimes when we're all very busy in our own little work world, um, obviously, our son's, um, you know, doing VCE Year 12. Um, our daughter's studying third year nursing, so she does a bit of online stuff at home um, and works for the majority of the week off-site. But my wife teaches a grade three class and I'm, um, you know, busy uh, working in, in my work. So there's, there's a number of us in the house um, that are working and sometimes that, you know, presents its challenges along the way um yeah so yeah so i think he's 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 managed it well um you know we're, we're pretty proud of what he's done to date um it hasn't been ideal um for anybody really but i suppose out of it we've we've learned some some positives or we've we've gained some some good good um learnings or we've been able to observe him and probably be more involved in his education as a senior secondary student than we have been or have been allowed to be, um, you know, if if on yep. on site. So yeah, I was going to say, Jason, we we we'll, we've talked about this period in terms of the things we've lost, in terms of the things that have been taken away from us in a physical sense and in mm. in in every sense. I mean, you work in education like I do. I wonder if we're underselling some of the qualities that our students will get out our our students and young people will get out of this time. Do you see? Do you see what you've seen in your home, and as an educator, and as an educator and a father, that maybe for your son, he'll get some things out of this period that will hold him in good stead for the future. Yeah, I think the uh, the online work um, has definitely um, built on the skills that he's had, obviously as a you know twenty first century learner, but um, it's actually. Um, allowed him to communicate with a range of different people in different ways. And so I think obviously that's a good um, skill to have, um, particularly in you know his future careers and so on. 
Um, so, you know, the, the, the ability to connect in, in various ways probably wasn't presented to him as much as it has now. So I'd like to think that um, that, that is definitely um, built. The fact that he can collaborate, you know, create things together, communicate with people um, in, in various ways, that's going to that's gonna hold him in good stead for, um, like I said, you know, future employment, um, global experiences, um, and so on. So yeah, I think um, there's some good things that that have come out of that. I also think probably he has, um, you know, from a social perspective, he's realised the importance. He's always um, had friends around him. He's always, um, you know, held them close to, to you know him. He's been a, he's always been a social kid. Um, but I think this has actually, um, you know highlighted the importance of friendships and connections and so he's really um, connected with with his mates uh, on a regular basis and you know there's a bit of talk about school but there's also a lot about you know the things that they're interested in and have been interested in or the new things that they're experiencing in this time so um, you know that, that's that's been good too. Um, yeah. I was wondering Jason your daughter and my daughter graduated in the same year and I think you'd say that your children have got slightly different personalities and are, are yep. quite different. I wonder how the older one has has gone through this period as well in terms of enjoying university life and the freedom and the and the flexibility yeah. that that brings. And then all of a sudden, because your daughter, like my daughter, is is studying university, and it does seem to be quite an unreal experience. How how do you think that? slightly older group that's been going that have gone to university have sort of coped with it much the same or has it been slightly different uh, again like you said andrew the um kids are our kids are completely different um and uh, marnie has had probably more of um um you know she has she hasn't been at a school where there's been a lockdown where she's had to stay at home and isolate she hasn't you know so she's had a bit of flexibility in getting out she works um uh, locally uh, in an office space that, that and, and is allowed to do that due to the essential services that she provides. Um, so she's had a bit more probably social interaction than, than Rhett has. Um, the difficulty for her, and it's, you know, and it's, it's very similar in, in what Rhett is missing um, in this, you know, final year of his year 12, you know, she's, 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 um, she's had one of her final placements cancelled um, you know, like I said, she's nursing, so there's obviously some restrictions happening there. There's a bit of, um, you know, there's a question mark around whether she'll graduate in time. Um, you know, she's applying for graduate years of nursing. So there's some uncertainty there. So I suppose um, similarities in that there's, um, you know, we, we have discussions with both around, um, you know, what will be, will be and, and um, you know, um, sort of, um, you know, thinking about what what the future might look like. So a lot of future sort of thinking discussions that we might have around that, um, and that you know to to potentially have faith in in what um, you know that things will work out and things will will be okay. And 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 people, and I say people, but you know, organisations such as you know VCAR or um, um, you know universities or or places that are looking out for our kids or our young people um, they're obviously taking those things into consideration and making sure that kids are going to be successful um, and that you know and that they've got a, a future to look forward to so yeah I think um, she's had different experiences she hasn't loved the online piece um, but she's doing very well and, and she will graduate but um, I suppose the, the cancellation of certain things along the way because of the situation has probably impeded a bit on her experience. But, I, you know, I think she'll be, she'll be fine and away we go. And, Jason, we were talking before and you work in education in a different sector, but um, very much involved in ensuring and facilitating that we manage this period of online learning as effectively as we can. I'm wondering, you mentioned VCAR, and obviously we talk about exams at the end of the year that Rhett will go through and that Marnie has gone through. I wonder, do you see the necessary changes that have been made because of the circumstances? Do you see that speeding up the consideration 
for the way that we do exams going forward and perhaps, you know, looking to do things a little bit differently, a bit quicker because of the fact that we've gone through this period? Yeah, I think, if anything, um, this situation, this pandemic has, you know, disrupted our way of thinking and our way of working and our way of being. So there's got to be uh, um, a reflection on how we've done things in the past. So in terms of, um, you know, in terms of how we, um, you know, what VCE looks like, what VCAL looks like, what, what, what secondary looks like. I mean, I think if we were to go back to the normal way of being as we did in term one or before and not actually learn from what we've um, experienced in term two and term three, then we've actually missed a, an opportunity here. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a, I know that um, you know, I've mentioned VCAR before and that's probably, you know, that's part of my world um, at the moment, just trying to work out how um, students can um, complete uh, what they need to complete and that they're provided with, um, you know, with the next steps in regards to, you know, university courses or whatever they choose to do in terms of work and, and, and whatnot. So there's definitely, they're definitely working hard to ensure that, you know, kids aren't disadvantaged um, and that, um, you know, um, that, that, that they're actually um, catered for during this time and that, you know, that, that there's a lot of provision put into place uh, for those students um, and that, you know, the circumstances um, is acknowledged and that there's you know a way forward in this in this way so yeah I think um, it's an opportunity to um, learn from from this and actually take the positive pieces out of it and to actually um, you know reshape what education or what um, you know what experiences for young people are like so in, in the future so in finishing up Jason if all being well if I was to sit and talk to you in, on September the 3rd in 2021 and we've all got a vaccine and we're back to normal and let's hope and pray that that's the case, I think, for all of us. How do you think you'll reflect on this period of time from a point of view of your work, from a point of view of being a dad and managing, you know, managing two young people, one finishing VCE and one almost finishing nursing? How do you think you'll reflect on the time? Is it going to be one where you feel like there's been more gained than lost or it'll still be sort of I don't know it'll still be a black or dark period that we'll reflect on and never want to yeah. do it never want to have yeah. again I I obviously don't don't want to um, live this experience again um, uh, but I always want to make sure that you know whatever experience you go through in life that you learn from it and that you actually take on board uh, things to improve the next phase of your life um, I've said for many, many years to our family, our kids, 2020 is going to be an amazing year for us. Um, I turned 50, um, my daughter turns 21, my son turns 18, um, and we have and probably won't. Um, I know Rhett and I haven't celebrated really. Um, the day went um, and it was a nice um, experience with our family and Marnie's is coming up in a couple of weeks. So um, it yeah, it, it's it's funny how for years I've been thinking that 2020 was going to be pretty amazing and yet it hasn't sort of turned out that way. However, um, I still get to stay 49 for another year, so that's all good. But I also <laughs> think that it's, um, you know, good. it's been a good chance for us to recalibrate as a family, I have to say. And, and if anything, that's been, that's been great. You know, we have talked more this year than we've ever talked um, and we have supported one another more than we've ever supported each other. So... Um, oh, that's probably a bit of a over exaggeration, but I, but I, I, I really do think that um, actually being together and working through this together has actually been great for our family. Um, and it's you know, and I think that that's probably why we've got really fantastic, resilient kids that just you know amaze us with what they do. And and you know, no matter what the future holds for both of them, I'm, you know, my wife and I will be really proud of of them and. And proud of the people that have supported them during their journey, and that includes the Killip as well. Well, Jason, thank you very much. I think um, I'm a little bit older than you, but have experienced the same things, a 21st and a 19th and all that, mm. and and um, it's it's quite amazing. And if you're going to stay 49 for um, another year, I'm probably going to say that I'm still 49 for another year as well. So <laughs> good, on you. Good. Um, good luck with um, everything, and I hope um, that in some way we're able to celebrate 
Rhett's graduation and mm, maybe the finishing of your time as a parent at McKillop, which mm. has been a journey over the last, you know, eight years or so. So best of luck. Thanks for coming on board. Good luck with all your work. And I think the stuff around how we ensure our Year 12 students this year finish successfully and are able to transition is really important work. So best of luck with it. And uh, I thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. Thank no you. worries. Thanks, Jason. Yeah. Bye. That brings us to the end of this episode. A reminder, if you do need any help, if you have any queries, questions or concerns, please contact a member of the Year 12 team. Be kind and look after yourself.